Yo, what's up, Colin? How we doing? Happy freaking Friday, y'all. Jatana, welcome in. Where'd he go? Oh, now I see him. What's up? How we doing, Mr. Rainbow? Get some more water. You guys, I'm so annoyed right now. I, um, I just spent 30 plus minutes filming a video to edit together. I mean, like, Tia's gonna edit it. But I spent 30 plus minutes filming a video only to, at the very end, like all the way done, I figured out that my audio was messed up. Like I had this microphone muted and the microphone that I use while I'm streaming, like gaming, uh, unmuted. So yeah, I get to film all of that over again. All of it. Super freaking cool. What's up Cupcake, how we doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. We are building an awesome computer today. This one is for Mrs. Cupcake from right here. She's in the kick chat. Um, wait, what did you say about audio? I couldn't hear you. I know. So here's what happened. I wrote a script today for a video that I thought about. Um, it took me like an hour or so to write the script. And then it was like 30 to 40 minutes of like straight filming uh, to do it all. And then I uploaded all of it for my editor. And then I was like, I should probably check and just like, you know, make sure the recordings look good and stuff. Well, they, they looked fine. However, this microphone, totally muted. My microphone at my desk that I use while I'm gaming, super not muted. So the audio is literal garbage and I have to start all over again. Did you stop trolling and build our custom water loop? Uh, that, that's, that costs some serious money, so I don't think she wants to pay for that. Cupcake should be in the YouTube chat. I agree. I agree. Cupcake should be in the YouTube chat. Because we're trying to get monetized on YouTube, y'all. We're so close. We literally need 14 watch hours, and then we're, um, and then we have, um, the first level of YouTube monetization. I still can't view, uh, I still can't view the notifications that come up for YouTube on Botrix, so thank you to whoever just subscribed. I appreciate you. Hey, you're not wrong. It is expensive. I My personal gaming PC is water-cooled, and it was not cheap. And it was a lot of labor. Uh, what GPU is she getting? So she currently runs a 3090 in her old gaming build, and we're going to reuse that. Um, I don't have it here because... While it hasn't completely died yet, it's very close to dying. So she still has her 3090s she's using in her old PC. And then we're gonna take it out. Well, she's gonna take it out when this arrives and put it in the new computer. So we're not gonna be able to like do any sort of gaming tests or GPU tests, um, but everything else will be set up and ready for her to go when it, when it arrives. I think yours was $700, like the whole PC or just like, just the water cooling components. I'll keep it tabbed open here, but I'll be watching on kick. I appreciate you, Ty. Appreciate you. You need a PC maybe next year? I mean, tax season's right around the corner. Come on, come on. I'm asking for a friend of mine. Is there a computer built for blind people? Um, I think it's more about the monitor. I mean, how bl are we talking completely, completely blind or are we talking like, legally blind where you can still kind of see things. Cause I don't know, I owe taxes, rip. Oh, just the water cooling parts. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad. Um, I spent way more than that on mine because I went with like the full distribution plate on the Lee and Lee case. That alone, I mean, it has the pump included, um, but that alone was like 400 and something bucks. So just between that and like the two water blocks, like nothing else was like a thousand dollars. Okay. Anyways, let's talk about the build. So we've got an Intel i7 14700K. 
with contact frame. Uh, we've got 32 gigs of T-Create RAM from Team Group, CL32-6400. Couple terabytes of storage from Crucial. Uh, we've got some extra RGB fans. The ASUS Tough Gaming Z790 Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. Yes, I just had to read that. Uh, a Fractal Lumen um, CPU cooler. And then we've got, I'm not gonna pick it up right now because there's not really any room for it. We've got the NZXT H6 Flow RGB, which is the same as the regular H6 Flow, only it comes with three RGB fans pre-installed. Super nice. I think altogether it was a little over 4K. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, yo, what's up, Mage? How we doing? Yes, completely blind. Uh, I have no idea. I have never even thought about that, to be perfectly honest. I imagine if you're completely blind, you're almost better off using a phone because they're so good. But I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm not the right person to ask that sort of question. You have a 10850K and a Seuss Tough Z490 now, so a significant upgrade. It is a very significant upgrade. Four generational leap. Four generations. Uh, yo, what's up, Richard? How we doing? You better be on YouTube too, Richard. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We are literally, but as of the start of this, this stream, we are 14 hours from uh, the first level of monetization on YouTube. 14 hours, 14 watch hours. So that means seven people-ish need to watch the stream all the way through and then we're good. Huge upgrade for Cupcake. Stand by for YouTube, my man. They make braille keyboards, so there has to be PC for blind folks. That's probably true. I just don't know anything about them. I, yeah, I wouldn't. That seems like such a specialty thing that like, yeah, I wouldn't know where to start. Okay. Let's get all of our extra cables in here that we don't need. Some fun stickers for, probably for Cupcake's kids more than, than her, but you know. Uh, this usually doesn't have anything in it. I can double check though. Nope, nothing in there, cool. But they just need to play around with all the accessibility settings at that point? I don't know. It kind of seems like it would be that way. I mean, other than like the keyboard, um, yeah, like there's a bunch of accessibility settings set, like built into Windows now. So that's kind of would be my guess is that you just need to have someone turn them all on for you and set them up for you. I'll play your videos on a loop while I sleep. You'll get the watch hours. a boy. All right. Uh, before I forget, let's take off all these peels from the motherboard. Because there may or may not be a computer out there where they were not removed <laughs> from the motherboard. <laughs> Don't ask how I know. Don't ask. All right, let's get our... We're going to put our CPU in the socket real quick and then we'll get the contact frame put in after that. Now Cupcake got no excuse to dine in the gulag. That's right. Well, actually, wait, Cupcake's on mouse and K, right? Mouse and keys. So we, she still has some excuses. I still don't understand how she plays on mouse and key with like her legs crossed on her desk or her, um, her chair. It literally doesn't understand, doesn't like, doesn't compute in my brain, you know? W's, what's up, mage? You botched that spelling, that's okay. What's your longest YouTube video? I mean, I've got a bunch of live streams that are pretty long. Um, the longest one, I've got like one, oh wait, what am I doing? I've got one um, like for like edited videos. There's some of the early ones, like how to build a PC and stuff that are like an hour plus. So you could always use those, or like you could just scroll through my live videos. Oh my, I left my uh, iFixit and stuff over here because I was working on, somebody came by today with uh, their laptop needs a new battery. So got one of those. We got to pull the part just so I can make sure that I got the right, um, the right battery and then got it ordered. Uh, that was a thermal pad, not plastic. What? 
No. I'm sure it's fine. My motherboard is a Gigabyte B550A or is V2. What's your opinion on that? Uh, it's actually a pretty decent board. I don't really care for Gigabyte's newer boards because they have been doing some weird stuff with their RGB headers and they don't work. Um, but their newest boards are like performance wise overall, they're pretty good. I just don't like some of the features on them. Um, but I had a, I used a Gigabyte um, like B6 or Z690 board for a long time in my previous gaming PC and then I don't remember if my new one has Gigabyte or MSI. Not much man, just pop it in for a bit before I start a black sales with the wifey. Is that a TV show? Is that a game? All right, so we've got our contact frame in here to make sure that we get proper mounting pressure for the life of the CPU, because we all know that the LGA 1700 socket sucks. It's bad. And if you didn't know that before, you do now. It's not super important all the time, but like for nicer builds, like with like a i7, like a 13th or 14th gen i7 or better, it's good to do. It's good to do. Okay, so we've got that in there. Let's get our SSDs installed. Got a couple of one terabyte SSDs just so we've got you know, plenty of space for all her video games. Uh, we're not gonna need this. I fix it anymore. I'm gonna go put it back over here. Well, yeah, I'll just put it away. It's fine. Okay, okay. Y'all, I'm still so annoyed that I filmed an entire video and I have to redo it again. <laughs> Ugh. Frustrating. So frustrating. I texted the wife and I was like, hey, definitely not gonna be home by seven. Sorry. Because I'm an idiot. All right, here's one terabyte installed. You guys, this is gonna be a pretty quick build today because um, there's only, there's no, there's no GPU and stuff, so. It should go by pretty darn fast. What a bot, sheesh, I know. I had my, my road mic muted. Um, oh, it's because I was doing the opposite. I was filming a TikTok the other day sitting at my desk. And so I muted my road mic because it was still on. And I had my, um, my Shure microphone. Um, Unmuted, so yeah, the audio is pretty much ruined. It's worthless. So annoyed. Come on. Okay. Sorry, I said way right after that. What did I say about my motherboard? Uh, I said it's fine. I don't remember what I said. Um, I've used Gigabyte motherboards in the past. They're pretty solid. It's a good, uh, especially for the um, like the level of motherboard you got. Like that's good. Um, their newer ones I don't love because their RGB headers are all weird and don't work properly with everything. But besides that, they make good product. They make good products. Hands down, this game is enshrouded. Is the best open box survival game. Interesting. I still haven't played that. I don't really play a lot of games. I just pretty much just play Warzone. But I know some people that have been pretty excited about it. Which company is better, Gigabyte or Asus? I would take Asus over Gigabyte. Asus over Gigabyte, personally. All right, so here's our T-Create RAM. It's nice low profile RAM, but I think it looks super good. It's very, it's just like sleek, you know? Boom. Like if you're doing like a very minimal or no RGB sort of sort of setup, 
Can't really go wrong with that Ram. Richard prefers Asus. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's everything that's gonna go in here. So we can scooch it on over to the side here and we'll get our case out here. If I can. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna pull the uh, back panel off. You'll notice the other side panel. Oh, oh, you might not notice. You'll notice the other side panel is gone at the moment because it is off getting laser engraved with Cupcake's logo on it. So we'll have that back soon so that we can ship the whole thing off. Oh, she's a big girl. Yeah, that was a big, that was a big one. Okay, I just need to get the uh, accessory kit out of here. Got that. I hope it fits on my desk. It's not actually that big. It's, I don't think it's bigger than your current case. I honestly don't think it's any bigger than your current case. It looks fat, a little bit. It's, it's similar to like an 011 dynamic, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna get the motherboard installed real quick and then we can um, put in those bottom fans. Alrighty. Get a, little, get a little smudge on it. There we go. Okay. These holes look like they're all nice and lined up. Case isn't that big. The height Y60 and Y70 are much bigger. That's true, as Richard would know. Yeah, it's really not that big. Like it, it's, it's not small per se, but it's not, not that big. Why, why do I feel like I don't know what I'm supposed to do here? Um, <laughs> what did I do with that NZXT? I'm losing it, chat. I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. Where the uh, like a little NZXT manual? I don't know what to do with it. Can I put it in here or something? No. It was sitting like right next to the case earlier. Oh. No. Oh. Officially lost it, chat. I've officially lost my mind. All right, I think it's six by 32s. It's a decent guy's case, but I think it fits on our desk. Yeah, it should fit. Uh, I never owned a radiator cooler. What are the benefits? Um, it tends to have a little bit steadier uh, temperature, it can be a little bit quieter, and for the most part, they're a little bit more, they're a little bit better at cooling. Okay, I think this is the right size. We'll find out in a hot second. Yeah, that went all the way in.
Okay. Feels nice and sturdy in there. Good. Okay. Um, let's install the bottom fans real quick. Here it is. It's underneath the fans. I'm losing it. I need some coffee chat. Stat. Someone give me a coffee stat. Okay, so we're just installing these. These are gonna be the intake fans, primarily for the GPU. So this will keep her GPU very happy, even though it is a 3090. It's gonna get lots and lots of fresh air. Technically, you don't really need this um, in order to keep the GPU cool, but I've got the extra fans laying around uh, and it is a 3090, so we might as well just, uh, might as well throw them in there. GPU is the next upgrade, yeah. Well, that's the thing, the 30 series are hot. Like, they ran hot. Um, the 40 series have such good coolers on them, and they don't, I don't think they run as high of power usage. So they, um, they don't tend to have the same problem with overheating that the 30 series does. Hit center array, I know the benefits of cooling. What is the most difficult part of the build of a radi radiator cooler? Um, it's mostly just about making sure you have a, um, a case that like can, can fit the, the radiator that you need to put in there and planning out the, um, the layout for it. And then um, it just adds a lot of like cable management and uh, makes it harder to access things in the case. So if you're newer to building, that can just kind of make it a little bit more difficult for some stuff. Okay, I'll take a couple of these zip ties out in case we need them later. GPU is the next upgrade. That's right. Okay, so bottom fans are installed, which is good. Now, oh, it's Lazy Susan time. And that's what it is. Lazy Susan. For now. Get this out of the way somewhere. All these filters coming in now. Looking a little messy back there. But don't worry, it's mostly contained to the, the back room. Go for a 4070 Ti Super, I've seen performance similar to a 4080. Yeah. Both of which is better than a 3090, surprisingly. Thanks for getting Grams back in the game. Hey, you got it. Uh, the 4070 Ti Super is a really good, uh, really good option or the, the 4080 Super. I mean, the 4080 Super, it sounds like, is gonna have very similar performance to the 4080, but um, it's basically the same price, if not slightly cheaper, so. Those are definitely uh, good options. And then, I mean, obviously the 4090 is the best, but it, you know, whether you wanna spend that much money on it, who knows. All right, HD audio installed. I'm gonna get these bottom fans connected. Hello, I watched my PC build video. What did you think, Diana? What'd you think? More bang for your buck, in my opinion, 4070 Ti Super. Yeah, exactly. Definitely lots of bang for the buck with that. 
Okay. Okay, you're welcome, Rainbow. Okay, so we've got... Got another header here, another header here. Let's get these two. Get this one installed. Okay. So both those bottom fans are connected in. Now we can do, let's do our USB header, which is over here, cool. Boom. What y'all want to do is play Steam games. No streaming, I'm so excited. Uh, yes, Diana, this is Cupcakes PC. All right, USB Gen 3.2 installed. Just like that. Okay, and then we've got our front panel header right here. That's gonna go right like that. Boom. Same prices from 7.99 to 9.49. Yeah, exactly for the 47 Ti Super. Yes, congrats, Diana, on your new computer. It'll ship out tonight or tomorrow. Okay, a lot of cables here. A lot of cables for these uh, front fans. And all their RGB. Okay, so first, let's plug in. Can we, can we separate these out a little bit more, please? Okay, there we go. So, that's all RGB. This is all spinning the fans. See what we got for headers over here. Uh, we got CPU optional, so CPU fan, AIO pump. We can use the CPU optional here. That's totally acceptable. Let's do that. And then for the RGB, let's see what we have available. We've got a 5 volt RGB there, and a 5 volt RGB at the bottom. Actually, we have two at the bottom, so we're gonna use one of those. So that's gonna be the control for the front RGB fans. cable management here to kind of keep everything in line. Okay. Okay. So there's still a bit of a rat's nest at the bottom, but we can deal with that later. Um, even though it looks like there's lots of space, let's put in our CPU power cables here. Hey, Red, a quick question. Can I plug a monitor into the motherboard via HDMI cable? You can. Uh, or wait, yeah, so did you have your PC optimized? I can't remember. No worries, the later in the week that I get, the better. Hoping for Thursday, but not gonna be picky. Okay, cool. Yes, and this monitor is just for chat. Uh, if you had it overclocked, we disabled the um, the onboard graphics to help reduce the amount of um, reduce the amount of like power being drawn by the CPU for things that don't need to be there. But um, if you want, I can show you how to turn it back on. Are you using five monitors? CPU, CPU, uh, motherboard, SATA, 
don't know that we need SATA, but I'll get it out just in case. Um, and then here's some PCIe cables. One, two, and is there a third, please? Is there a third? Um, not a third. One, two. <laughs> Do I have more VGA cable holders? Interesting. I didn't even think about that. So we have enough for, we could do one CPU power cable. And actually, you know what? I've been holding on to these and I don't know. I don't know how many of them we have. But I might have a whole extra set of cables that we can use here. Kind of klepto like that. This might look a little funky. It's a beast of a PC built by Red? Yes, it is. My boss is not a nice person at all. <laughs> this rainbow says RTX 4070. I'm good, just need a plan. I'm feeling sick before I actually take the day off for the PC delivery. Yeah, that makes sense. Is the RTX 4070 Ti non-super a good upgrade from the RTX 4070? I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with that. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Asus and Seasonic use the exact same like cables setup and stuff, like pinouts. So technically, this Seasonic cable can just plug right in. They use the same pinouts, as is obviously noted by the um, the Seasonic and Asus cable um, cable uh, whatever it's called designs being the same for cable mod. So what I'm going to do is instead of using the three of or two of the uh, Asus um, cables. We're gonna use all Seasonic cables for the GPU for now. And then when, um, whenever you upgrade Gina, you'll be able to just swap out for um, the standard 40 series cable that'll be in your, your box of many things, okay? how we're gonna do this. What up, Mark Wagner, how we doing? You cracked the code. All right. Fireground Games, what's up? about this one more time hold on I mean, am i crazy here okay this is new to new this is molex this is cpu this is pc to pc pc to pcie oh i'm an idiot you guys i'm dumb i'm super dumb okay i was thinking of this as being pcie on like the eight pin on the power supply side and the new style on the GPU side, but it's the opposite. Put this um, 12 HP power pin on the power supply side, and then you have two eight pins on the other side, which means I just need one more, which 
which means that you just need one more PCIe connector for her GPU because hers uses three and there's still room for her CPU power to have both and um, that's it. We're done. I don't need these Seasonic ones. <laughs> it turns out I'm a klepto for no reason. Excuse my burp. There it is. I promise I'm not that dumb, you guys. I just don't plan ahead. Don't get that. Uh, I just don't know if I have to plug said capture card in to the GPU or if I can run it from USB. Wait, 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 what are you using a capture card for? Don't you have a single PC setup? Is the capture card for um, like a camera or something? I'm confused. What are we talking about here? No more voice typing for me. So excited, I'm 30,000 views away from being 500,000 total channel. Nice. That's a lot of views. Okay, for a camera. Um, so the way that works, Soul Reaper, is you go from cameras mini HDMI to capture card via like the standard HDMI connector. And then that capture card just goes USB, like whatever USB type of connection it has on the card itself to USB um, A on your computer. You don't need HDMI out of your capture card. That's only if you're doing pass through. So like the only time you need like pass through is say like you're gaming on a console and you want to capture it for like streaming, you run it through the HDMI or you run it through the capture card to capture that and put it on your stream PC and then you pass through back to your monitor so that you can still see what your game is. Have your YouTube pulled up as well for hours? Cupcake, you, you rock, cupcake. Okay, so got all that, figured out our strategy because we're not dum-dums. So let's get our CPU cooler installed. I've been thinking about switching from the 4K60 Pro to, did you mean NDI? Why would you want to switch to NDI? Uh, you know, right, I went to a friend's house. We got a full loan. We got a full loan to run a dual 4090 GPU on his PC, 50% faster than a normal 4090. Wait, 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 what do you mean that? So he's got a PC. I think I'm a little bit confused, Fireground. So he's got a PC with dual 4090s. Is that what you're saying? Like SLI 4090s in it or something? Uh, am I right in assuming that a 13900K does not have onboard graphics that I should turn off? A 13900K would, 13900KF would not. Yeah, dual GPU. I mean, games don't support SLI so anymore, so like, you know, it might be useful if he's doing like something other than gaming. Um, but for gaming, it's not gonna be any better than a standard 4090. Uh, might, you might be able to take a little bit of the load off um, one of the 4090s by using the other one to like stream or encode or whatever. Magic Man, thank you for coming in with a follow. It's is Nick Gaming coming in with a follow as well on Kick. I appreciate y'all. Interesting, I'll have to look into that and turning that off. Uh, it's not a huge performance difference. It's just like, it's one of those things like when we're having, when we're optimizing a PC and trying to get every little bit of performance. Um, we, uh, we make sure that's done. We make sure that that gets done, you know? Yeah, if it's not being used, you might as well just go turn it off. It's just, it's like a single click setting in, um, in uh, the BIOS. All right. So, fractal design, we're gonna need this until guy. And we're gonna need. Let's use our. Let's, use, let's be smart here and use our tray without spilling everything. Uh, play Tarkov, I need all the CPU power I get. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
You might also want to turn off like your e-cores. I don't know Tarkov well enough to know if it like uses, utilizes e-cores. But you could also like turn off all your e-cores um, so that you can maybe boost your, your uh, p-cores a little bit higher. Okay, so this is gonna go through like a dish. And these are gonna probably go right over the top, I'm guessing. Yes, I am kind of guessing. Uh, let's just double check real quick. I'll use the user guide. I usually use these on uh, AMD PCs, so it's a little bit different. The user guide. Just saw a friend build a very similar PC today with the same case and his AO didn't fit. Rip. Wait a minute. Are you telling me this doesn't have support for a seven LGA seventeen hundred? Oh, it is. They just haven't updated this yet. Cool. They haven't updated their user guide. Just this little sheet of paper. <laughs> Freaking me out. I was like, "There's no way you guys don't support LGA seventeen hundred after like two and a half years." Okay, let's double check here. Uh, yep, those go through. Yeah, exactly. I had it. I had it right on. I was on the money. I knew what I was doing. You guys might not think so, but I knew what I was doing. Okay. Uh, do I add support bracket thing to the 13900K? Um, yeah, so if you take a look there, it's a contact frame. So you basically, you just take out the, um, the original um, like retention bracket or whatever they call it. And then you swap it out for that, that guy. It's, it's less the, a CPU specific thing and it's a, um, it's an Intel LGA 1700 socket thing. So any, any CPU, which is basically, basically any modern Intel CPU is prone to that issue. Been on here a while without it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, it's not the end of the world. Like if you're not having issues, you're not having issues. Um, but it, yeah, it could make a difference. And if you have a 13900K, it could also help with your, we've seen some differences in cooling performance with, uh, uh, with it installed. So it's not a bad idea. I really wish these slots were uh, were better. There we go. There we go. Okay. so much for coming in with that follow. We appreciate you. Uh, what more liveboard is that? It looks sick. This is the Asus Tough Z790 Pro Wi-Fi. All right, alcohol wipes. Shouldn't need those on the first go around because that CPU is looking big. Fan clean. All right, got that. <laughs> and then I wanted to check one other thing. Okay, that's good. All right, so we're going to install our CPU cooler, our CPU cooler this direction. Just like that. Which means when I flip it this way, the tails on the fans are gonna go to the right. All right. 
Oh yeah, this has pre-applied thermal paste, so I don't even need to bother with this. This is just gonna be for Gina to have later. Here with the MSI Carbon Z790. Oh, that's a great looking and a really good motherboard too. I like that one. Uh, so I don't have to use the Elgato HD60. I would just need the Elgato Cam Link 4K. Um, yes. You just have one camera that you're uh, inputting. Yes, you can use that. Um, what do you think the Samsung monitor? I'm thinking of getting uh, QLED. I don't know what kind of panel and stuff that has. Um, Samsung makes some pretty good monitors. They, they tend to be kind of expensive, but uh, I wouldn't say overly so. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've never, never used any of their monitors before. Yeah, it really depends on the the model itself, on like if it's a good if it's a good motherboard. Get the G7 Samsung G7 Odyssey. I'm pretty sure that has like a TN panel though, or a VA panel. Isn't that not IPS? I might be I might be thinking of a different panel, but I thought I remember that one not being IPS panel. It's like why why would you buy a VA panel? Did IPS, or if you're willing to spend the money, get OLED. <clears throat> uh, thanks for having to ignore the Facebook message from me then? Okay. You got it, dude. Yeah, it's VA. Yeah, VA doesn't have as good of color stuff. I would get a I would get a IPS panel if you're gonna spend the money to get like a 240 hertz monitor. Like an MSI. Uh, I think, I'm sure Samsung has some. LG. Asus. Although I think a lot of Asus stuff, unless you get a ROG, are also VA panels. Last I had checked, the Odyssey 1000R. Okay, got all of our fans on here and spinning. Now we're gonna have to just undo all these little twist ties and stick these through the back of the case and then we'll deal with them back there. It's the Odyssey 1000R. You love your Samsung Odyssey monitor? Yeah, I mean, they're good. Like they're good quality and stuff, but the uh, the color and stuff on a VA panel is just not as good as an IPS panel. So if you're gonna if you're gonna buy one, I would buy an IPS panel. I'm sure Samsung makes an IPS panel monitor. <clears throat> it's just better. It's better technology. One of these days I'll buy an OLED monitor. I'm sure, but um, if sales keep going up and up, I probably. <laughs> I won't be gaming much anymore, so who knows?
so many cables. So little time. Alrighty. So, so many cables. Okay, I'm gonna plug this into the AIO pump header right now. That's where it belongs. Now I don't have to keep track of which one is for the pump. And now, let's start getting these to the back of the case. I have incredible dexterity. Thank you. That's what she said. Yo. Yeah, I just personally like it's it's just it's an older technology and it's not as good as um, IPS technology, so I I, just, I personally wouldn't wouldn't buy it. Like they've done really well with the technology, like they have made the best of it that they possibly can, but it's like. At this point, why would you get a new monitor with old technology? I do have good dexterity with specific things at least. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like, you've had it for five years. It, that means it's like, they, it's good quality stuff. Like, Samsung makes good quality stuff. Like, let's be real. I'm Japanese. Samsung is also Japanese, right? The Japanese know how to make good stuff. I can say that. Um, but the technology is getting older. It's nothing against fact that they're making it it's just you know my, don't get that anymore get something else now don't be cute <laughs> winky face all right got all them bolts in look at that fits perfect I don't know what the other person was doing, but uh, this one fits. I don't know what I don't know, I don't know what they were doing wrong, but uh, it was a pretty big cooler and it fits just fine. I'm not gonna <laughs> play newer panels. Be like your G7 better. Oh, we're like almost done with this because again, there's no GPU in here. There won't be a GPU in here. So we're like really close to just being done with this. Am I using an LTT store screwdriver? I sure am. LTTstore.com. I don't make any money off of that, FYI. I just really like it. It's a very good quality product. This man PCs. All right. It's in there, it's good. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, not yet. <clears throat> Can you imagine? I mean, I don't think they do any sort of affiliate programs, period, but can you imagine being affiliated with freaking Linus Tech Tips? All right, so let's look at this. What do we got here? Oh, those are stiff. Them are some stiff cables. Okay, I think we just go go traditional. Just a nice little loop. These are gonna be up against the back, so there's definitely no chance of an exhaust fan back there, but that's fine. All right, and then I think we just need these guys. Okay, pre-applied thermal paste is on there. Um, I think we need to 
this guy in though, so that our pump can have RGB. The RGB. The RGB. So we gotta plug that in real quick. And that's just gonna daisy chain in with our, the CPU coolers RGB fans. Back in the back. Back in the back of the classroom over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Back here. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I, I really need to get like an over the shoulder cam for y'all to, to be able to see stuff like this a little bit better, you know? I want to do that. I probably will be able to do that after Loot Fest. Okay, got that one started. I'll get that one started. I thought I did for a second. Hey, now it started. What are you doing over there? There we go. Jeez. Tightened up. I love the look of this CPU cooler, you guys. Especially the the block. The RGB on it is just it's just classy. those down a little bit. They'll probably have to come back up a little bit once she gets her GPU in there, depending on how wide it is. Um, yeah, that's all in. Oh, that's a mess. That is a mess, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's work on our fan cables first. What do we got there? Is that a fan cable? It is not. That is though. Okay. Data chain those guys together. And this is gonna go into our CPU fan header. It's right there. Again, dexterity. Dexterity is key. Also, you know, small, nimble little fingers. It helps a lot. That's where I should probably hire my daughter. All right, there we go. Whoa, rats this well, hey, easy, easy. There's nothing I could do about that, okay? There's nothing I could do about it. All right, so now though, get all these guys out of the way. Get them cable manners up here. So now we've got these um, cables kind of out of the way here. I think what we can do is maybe even run those behind the CPU power cables. And then these guys will get tightened down back here maybe. Probably gonna have to put a zip tie on them, but okay, that's good for now. Get our CPU power cables out of the way. So that's not too bad. It's looking better, it's looking better. Relax, Richard, relax.
All right. Um, next, let's get all these RGB cables in. Uh, one of them, yes, this one. So this one, we're gonna make sure like that. Let's feel reasonably solid, but we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna tape those ones up. Looking better, my OCD went into overdrive. Welcome to my world. Yeah, there wasn't really much I could do about that because all of those are just like connected to the fans, right? So can't really, can't really manage those before you get the CPU cooler in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is these daisy chained RGB connectors. I'm just gonna tape them all together because they have this fun habit of coming apart if you don't. Um, okay. Oh, I thought I need to put those over there. Already. I'm gonna go over there eventually, probably. Uh, I almost bought that case, but I went with a Thermaltake Series 500 instead. Uh, is that the like vertical looking one? I'm trying to remember what the Series 500 looks like. I like, Thermaltake makes some pretty cool cases. Uh, that thing is so big you can climb in there with it, I imagine. It makes it very easy to, uh, to build in, that is for sure. Oh, that one feels real nice and solid, but again, just can't trust, can't trust an RGB connector, right? Well, the flat ones anyways, not worth it. Don't worry, if for some reason, you know, something happens, electrical tape does come off later. It is a little bit of a pain to get off, but it's way less of a pain than having RGB just randomly not working because these things came disconnected in shipping. All right. Just wanna say how much I appreciate you. If I ever get another or a new desktop, 100% will go through you. Happy to support the cause. Hey, I appreciate that, Jay. I appreciate you coming in. The kind words, the follow on the stream. You know, if you like, if you wanna be a huge homie right now, can you just like pull up the YouTube stream? Make sure you're subscribed over there. Um, and maybe, maybe like you don't have to actually be over there actively chatting, um, but we're trying really hard to get monetized on YouTube. So any, any uh, extra views and, and watch time helps. Um, yes, the thermal take is that tall, has a little LCD screen on it for the motherboard GPU memory dude. That's super cool. I like that. I like that case. Okay, so we've got all this extra stuff at the bottom now that we gotta deal with. I think we can start dealing with it now. Those should fit. Cable ties. Yes. This is one of those spots where like, I would like to use a zip tie <laughs> down here because that looks weird. Um, but having access to, to the cables down the road is probably a little bit more important than, than having that look perfect, you know? Sorted out down there. In my opinion, he's the best one on one support in the case customization. He's also available to offer that. Yeah, we haven't done any of those in a little bit. Like people just haven't been asking for them as much right now. But I agree. The case, the case customization is like that's where that's where we really shine, both with like the laser engraved logos as well as like 
hand design, like like designed, hand painted, um, custom cases. I think look really cool, and at like a very reasonable, very reasonable upcharge. Okay, so all that is now connected. Let's get this guy up here. This guy rolling in through here. Same with these other ones. All those right through there. Okay. All right, um, power supply time. I know we made all that hubbub about the power supply earlier and then we just kind of ignored it for a while, but now we're ready to put it in. That's what she said. Okay, so motherboard power cable installed there like that. And like that. Uh, we don't actually need SATA power for any of this, so I'm not gonna put it in there. Obviously she'll have it if she needs it later. We're not gonna put it in now, because we don't need it now. Okay, so we're gonna use, this is a PCIe, the 12 HP power connector, and then it has two PCIe eight pins on the other side. And then we'll round that out with another eight pin to eight pin. Um, and that will connect to her um, current 3090, which has three connectors, I believe. Did you verify that cupcake? Does it have three connectors? I know that it's got, I think it has like that adapter on it too, but I'm pretty sure it's three connectors. I'm not sure if she's in here at the moment. So we have room for one more. I could put a fourth connect. I can put a fourth cable in here if needed. It looks like three. Okay, cool. Perfect. So I'm gonna run those three GPU cables out through the front of the case, and they'll just kind of be sitting in there, so that you can just uh, you can just plug them in. Okay. There's that. GPU is installed, or sorry, GPU. PSU is installed. Calm down, Susan. Stop turning. Cool. That is all in there. Good to go there. Um, get our motherboard power connected. It's gonna come out through there. Okay, motherboard power right there. Okay, good to go. I need to route that along the back side here. I love that those overlap like that. Yes, I'm adjusting the rear cables for literally 
no actual reason because nobody ever is going to see them, but it bothers me, so. So I'm fixing it. <laughs> the female AC receptacle is at the top. Is that where the PSU goes? Yes, so this is the power supply here. Um, most cases that are designed like this usually have the power supply down at the lower end. I really like having this up high. It's so much nicer for cable management and having space for like RGB headers or RGB, um, what's it called? RGB like hubs and all that sort of stuff. It's so much nicer. I don't think you can beat it. Gonna be a pretty thick bundle down here now. It's plenty long. Can't reach through that side. So it's plenty long. Um, it's gonna the GPU power is gonna be somewhere right over here. So we should have plenty of room for that to reach it without any difficulties. Um, let's get a couple of cable ties. Need to open up the next next round of cable ties out of here. Snag some blue ones. I got multicolored cable ties, sue me. Uh, why do I put the PSU up there? Uh, that's, that's the only place for the power supply to go in this computer, Jay. It's got a specific tray and spot for it. Um, I like it up here because it, provides a lot more space for like routing these cables when they're all when it's all down here at the very bottom and has to all kind of come up it just creates this big clump in there and I don't like that I don't like that style uh, NZXT is the only company that I can think of that puts it up here like this on these and I really really like the look of it I think it looks great and it's very nice to use Oh, no, you're fine. No problem. You wish height would do that? I do too. I mean, height stepped up their gain so much with the H, the H, uh, H70 touch, like, I think uh, in the future they can they can start making changes like that, and it'll start making their their cases even better. They could make their way into like my favorite my favorite case brand if they if they play their cards right, you know. Hola, what a bunkle bud! I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, so I just placed the order for this ROG Strix. Um, 20, it looks like a 27 inch with an IPS panel in white. Ooh, to match your case. I don't like that. Okay. I don't love this on top. I don't think that looks very nice yet. I want to clean it up just a little bit. What kind of, it's 
kind of an array of cables up here rather than like a bundle of cables. So I want to fix that just a little bit. Okay. And then how does that look from the front? I think that looks pretty good, chat. All right, ignore the fact that there's three cables here that aren't doing anything yet. We don't have a GPU. Not much, not much. How's it going? Pretty good. Um, right before the stream, not so good because I filmed an entire video with um, this microphone muted. So that was fun. Hey, you're welcome, Rebo. What's this? I was not warned of a PC build. Did I not tell you? I forgot. Did I not? I've been focusing on just trying to make sure I communicated with my wife that I was building a computer. <laughs> like when I'm building. Mm -hmm. So, my bad. She knew I was building a computer and that's really, that's really what, what counts, you know? That is really what counts. She looks hot, my PC, yeah! You're watching Hamilton and sipping wine. Oh man, he could have been here the whole time. Sad. It's my bad, it's my bad. Uncle Bud, this is Cupcake's PC. So this has an Intel i7-14700K, 32 gigs, CL32, 6400 RAM from Team Group, uh, a couple terabytes of storage from Crucial, Asus Tough Z790 power supply, or sorry, uh, motherboard, uh, 1000 watt power supply also from Asus. Look at that cable management. Not too shabby. I think the bottom could look a little bit better, but I tried to avoid uh, using zip ties as much as possible. And then um, she has an RTX 30, 3090 that she's gonna take from her old PC and put it in here. So we don't have that, uh, but we've got it all wired up for her. And then this is a um, 360 millimeter AIO from Fractal Design. Honestly, probably my favorite um, in terms of like the RGB from the, uh, the CPU cooler block and stuff, it's probably my favorite. All right, um, who's ready to see it turn on? Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Like, are we there yet? She looks hot, doing good work over there. I appreciate that, Jay. I, I, it's looking clean, Uncle Bud, it's looking clean. Cupcake's going to see a night and day difference in, oh yeah, seriously. I mean, Red, you're good, but no Federalist Papers education. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I didn't watch Hamilton. All right, are we are we satisfied with that cable management job back here? Are we okay with that? Does that look, uh, that look acceptable to y'all? Federalist paper, I don't know either, Jay. I don't know, man. I assume it has something to do with him watching Hamilton, but I, no one's there. I don't, no, that's not the point, Cupcake. It's not the point. Does it look good, chat? Are we happy with that? that that's, that's the question I asked, okay? I know nobody's gonna see it. I'm still gonna obsess over it. <laughs> Looks great, cool. We will know. That's right. Everybody's, everybody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Look at that and it closes beautifully. I don't see any bulge in the side. Ugh. Everybody's watching. Literally the entire world is watching me. Um, unable to say the word world. All right. You guys know what time it is. I want to see a bunch of fire emojis in the chat so we can turn this baby on and uh, maybe get you guys turned on a little bit, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn some lights off to really kind of set the mood here. And uh, then we'll fire it up. Also, I'm gonna munch on a couple of mixed nuts because I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Don't mind me. Uncle Bud, Richard, Jay, Diana, Navy, Jatana. Richard again on the other side. All right. 
I think you guys earned it. All right. We still gotta wait a minute. We gotta finish eating these nuts. Okay. Okay. Yo, Jay, coming up with five gifted subs. Bro, thank you so much. Now we're really ready. Now we're ready. Let's go. I7 14700K, a missing RTX 3090, a bunch of fans, 360 millimeter AIO, 32 gigs of RAM, first power up. Here we go. I didn't plug it in. Son of a. <laughs> I think this side needs to be plugged in. What do you guys think? I think it's the second time in a row I've done that, you guys. We are. We are struggle busting tonight. Richard! Yep. With a gift to sub from Mr. Old Man Jay. Appreciate you guys. All right. Now we're actually ready. First power on. There it is. I'll let you guys enjoy it without me. Tell me that isn't just the coolest CPU cooler block you've ever seen. Tell me, I dare you. I dare you. Oh yeah, it still has graphics support. That's how we're gonna be able to uh, install Windows and everything on it. Uh, we're just gonna go through the, uh, the onboard graphics. You're 100% getting copyrighted for that, Sax. That block is hot. Is that sexy? I think it's I think it's short enough that it won't it won't get hit. It's only a few seconds long. It should be fine. The Federalist Papers were written by Hamilton and Jackson and formed the basis of the USS Constitution. Yeah, yeah. I'm a history nerd. I do know what the Federal I did know what the Federalist Papers were. I was just very confused by the comment regarding them. Considering they aren't usually brought up in everyday life, you know? Now, does it post? Well, let's see. Um, that's as far as it's gonna get without any inputs connected to it. Yes, that essentially posted. When you see the, the yellow and green together, or the white and green together um, on like the first ever attempt to post it, you'll see that a lot when you, um, when you don't actually have any um, like a monitor or any, um, what's it called? Or any like peripherals connected to it. Totally normal. Do the AIO fans have RGB? They sure do. That's just, uh, can't see him. I don't want to adjust my camera too much because I've got to do, ah, screw it. Screw it. Watch this. I've got to redo that video tonight, but it's okay. There you go. Now you get the full effect. Should I just arbitrarily reference the Treaty of Versailles? Exactly, you should. That wasn't a, the question about the Federalist Papers. <laughs> How do I add more RGB? I mean, there's a good amount of RGB. The only other RGB that I would suggest, I mean, so your your GPU has a bunch of RGB on it. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could replace these fans that I added in for free with RGB fans. You could get a couple of 140 millimeter fans. This is what you call, Gina, Gina, this is what you call a tasteful amount of RGB, okay? This is a tasteful amount of RGB, especially your FTW3 um, GPU has a big old RGB bar on it too. So, you know what? Chill, get that out, okay? 
clear, Federalist Papers are not everyday conversation until you're watching Hamilton. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Diana says, congratulations, Cupcake. This rainbow, that's a very beautiful PC, I agree. You speak from experience on that, Sax. You cannot get enough RGB makes PC faster. Facts. <laughs> I'm so excited. Fuck shit. Ow! I smacked my finger on the desk. Ow! <laughs> you guys didn't see that. You didn't see that. You probably heard it, though. You probably heard my friggin' hand smack the desk. <laughs> It does look great. I agree. If I had thought about it, we would have made these RGB too, but um, you can't beat free, Gina. Because that's what these were. These fans were free 99. All right. Because they've been sitting in my, they've been sitting in my uh, thing back there for like a year. Don't do that, Red. <laughs> Try not to. It is a beautiful PC. You like that CPU cooler? I'm glad you like it. Cause I, it's honestly, it, it really is one of my favorites and it's a very good quality one. Cupcake's going to love this. Oh, she is. She is going to love it. She'll like it a lot. Okay, well, I think that's it. Is there any uh, like last minute questions or comments or concerns? Is everyone concerned about my finger? No? Okay. Awesome, thank you, love you, love you, Cupcake. Thank you so much for uh, one, being one of my first ever partners and trusting me with your new computer. Use cu Cupcake at checkout, by the way. That's right. Code Cupcake at checkout will get you 5% off your computer. She beat you, Navy, she, she beat you to the punch feel your pain it like almost looks like a burn for some reason it's weird I don't know if you'll be able to see it in there yeah the lighting's too dark in the thing right now whoa whoa jeez what, what was that what was that I don't know what happened there Whew. that was close <laughs> okay okay for reals though, I have to spend another 40 minutes filming the VOD that I filmed previously. Maybe you missed this earlier uh, because I had this microphone, that one right there. Uh, I had this microphone muted and my Shure microphone that I use while I'm gaming unmuted. So the sound is absolutely atrocious and completely worthless. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We are gonna get this PC out the door, uh, hopefully by the end of tomorrow. Um, that's when we should have the engraved glass panel back as well. So we can't really ship it out tonight anyways. And uh, yeah, I hope y'all have a good night and I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching the build so that uh, hopefully Cupcake doesn't have to play on a crappy old computer anymore, okay? okay. What is the meaning of life? That's my question. I'm gonna need to marinate on that one, Mr. Rainbow. I'm gonna need to marinate on that one, okay? All right, y'all. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out. We will see you on the next one. Outro music.